Hello, my name is Jerry Bent with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video details the primary ways to use the feature access codes for the Call Center Elite feature, Forced Agent Logout or Ox Work by Location or Skill. There are two primary ways to use the feature access codes to force agents to log out or into Ox Work by location or skill numbers. The first is by dialing the feature access codes directly, and the second is by using a vector route to step. I'm going to talk about both of these options in the demo. So for this demo, I am logged into a communication manager lab system as an administrative user. The forced logout or aux work feature is controlled by four feature access codes or FACs. You will enter the display feature access codes command to see what the access codes are that are configured for this feature. Select next page until you reach the second page of the call center features. On this system, it is page six. The four feature access code fields are listed at the top of the page. On this system, star 22 through star 25 are configured as the access codes for this feature. One way to execute the force logout or aux work feature access codes is to dial them directly from a station on the CM. The station must have the proper class of restriction or core to allow this. To see the core assigned to a station, use the display station command. Station 55315 is assigned core 2 as shown on the right side of the screen. To view the configuration for core 2, use the display core command. Go to the second page. Towards the bottom, the core field labeled can force a work state change is set to Y. This means that any station configured with Core 2 can execute the feature access codes for the forced logout or aux work that we saw earlier. To execute the feature access codes from station 55315, the user would pick up the extension and dial one of the forced logout or aux work access codes. They will then hear a second dial tone. They should enter the location or skill number depending on which FAC was executed. For a single location site, they would enter one for the location number. If the user enters an invalid location or skill number, the system will generate an intercept tone and deny the action. If a valid location or skill number was entered, then the action will be executed for any agent assigned to that location or skill that has the class of restriction to allow a forced logout or aux work state change. If an agent is on an ACD call, the change will be pending until they complete the call, but the agent cannot override the change. The other method that these feature access codes can be executed is via a route to number command within a vector. This method allows a supervisor to force agents into logout or aux work remotely from outside of the enterprise. The VDN class of restriction must be set to allow this. To see the core assigned to a VDN, use the display VDN command. In the middle of the page, it shows VDN 87654 is assigned Core 2, so this VDN has permissions to execute the feature access codes. Also, note that this VDN points to Vector 1. A vector can be configured to dial one of the feature access codes using the Route to Number step. I will show that Vector 1 is already configured to dial FAC star 22 using the display vector command. This Vector 1 has only one step in it, 
which is a route to number star 22 unconditionally. To access this vector remotely, the user would dial the external phone number that routes to VDN 87654, which then points to vector 1. Vector 1 would execute the route to number step, which would dial the star 22 feature access code. The user will then hear the second dial tone. They would enter the location or skill number depending on the FAC this vector executed. From this point, execution would function the same as if they dialed the feature access code directly from their station. The user could also dial the VDN number from a station within the Communication Manager. It would work the same as if the VDN was accessed externally. An alternative is that the vector route to number step could be programmed to do the full FAC activation, including the location or skill number. However, the drawback with this method is that the customer would need individual VDNs and vectors for each location and skill. This concludes this FAC usage video. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor.